we now learn how to carry out some of the basic operations with radicals or square roots. To begin with, we look into addition and subtraction. Let's say we want to add two radicals, say the square root of a, to which we add the square root of b. One very important rule to remember is that this is not equal to the square root of a plus b. And in fact, I'll go ahead and box this result. It's absolutely essential that you know that these two things are not equal. Now to illustrate this, let's say for a second that we had to calculate the square root of 4 plus the square root of 9. Well, we know that the square root of 4 is equal to 2, and we know that the square root of 9 is equal to 3. So 2 plus 3 equals to 5, so that means that this whole sum is equal to 5. On the other hand, if we were to consider the square root of 4 plus 9, then that would equal to the square root of 13. And you can go ahead and check with your calculators, but the square root of 13 is equal to 3.61, where I've rounded to two decimal places. Now what we see here is, well, 5 is not equal to 3.61. And so consequently, the square root of 4 plus the square root of 9 is not equal to the square root of 4 plus 9. And in general, the square root of a plus the square root of b is not equal to the square root of a plus b. Now, not knowing this formula often leads to mistakes in exam type questions, so make sure to make a note of this now. The same can be said for subtraction. Indeed, if we have square root of a minus the square root of b, then that is not equal to the square root of a minus b. And again, I'll go ahead and box that result. And here's an example. Let's say we have the square root of 25 minus the square root of 16. Well, the square root of 25, that's equal to 5, minus the square root of 16, which is equal to 4. So the square root of 25 minus the square root of 16 is equal to 1. Okay. On the right-hand side, though, we would have the square root of 25 minus 16. And that's equal to the square root of 9, but the square root of 9 is equal to 3. And clearly, 1 is not equal to 3. So the square root of 25 minus the square root of 16 is not equal to the square root of 25 minus 16. And in general, the square root of a minus the square root of b is not equal to the square root of a minus b. Now again, not knowing this formula leads to mistakes, so make sure to write that down. Now that we've seen those two important rules for addition and subtraction, let's look into multiplication and division. Let me start by moving this to the side here. There we go. And so we now look into multiplication and division. And I'll start by multiplication. When multiplying two square roots, say the square root of a times the square root of b, it will always be equal to the square root of a times b. This is a really important result, so make a note of it now if you are unfamiliar with it. In particular, it's going to be extremely useful when we learn how to simplify square roots. Now here's how we'd actually use this. Let's say we have to simplify the square root of 2 times the square root of 3. Well, using this rule or this formula, we can state that it's equal to the square root of 2 times 3. And that's equal to the square root of 6. And we're done. And there's a similar rule for division. Let's say we have the square root of a over the square root of b. Well, that's always going to equal to the square root of a over b. Again, make a note of this formula as well. It's an absolute must-know when working with square roots. Now, to see how this actually works, let's say we were asked to simplify the following. The square root of 14 over the square root of 7. Well, using this rule, we can state that it's equal to the square root of 14 over 7. And that's equal to the square root of 2. And we're done. We're going to be looking into these rules a lot more in the next tutorials. And in particular, we'll be using these two formula for multiplication and division quite extensively. 
For now, though, you want to make sure you keep in mind these four rules we've just seen and boxed in red. Those are the four basic rules for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of two square roots. There we go, everyone. I really hope that helped. And if it did, please hit like on this video and even subscribe to our channel because that really does help us. I'll see you soon.